Hi guys, <clears throat> in the previous uh, video we had uh, certain values which were valid for everybody. We, we placed them in, in, uh, in certain cells offside from the table and used those cell references uh, in our formulas. And although the calculation and the way we did it was, was okay, uh, one could improve or clean up this or, or, or let's let's put it this way, man, one could do it in a w much better way. And the way to do with, the way to handle such values, which are valid for everybody, is to place them in a separate worksheet. So basically not put them somewhere in a table, but create a new worksheet and place those values in that specific worksheet. Why? Because first of all, these values could be valid not only for, for these people here in this table, they could also be valid for people in another worksheet. And another thing is, when you want to update these values, you don't want to hunt in each table and see where they are. So it's much easier to have a certain table where all those values reside, th these values that, that, that uh, are valid for, let's say, everybody, or let's say for a large group. You put them all in a certain table, call it whatever you want, and always use those cells in that table in your formulas. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's delete this. And let's create a new worksheet. Let's call it references. Okay? Or reference values, better yet. And I'm going to put in our two values, hourly rate. And that was 50. Let me just uh, widen up the A column. And the other thing was costs, and that was 560. Right. Okay, now we got that. Now we go back here. Uh, we go back here, and now we rewrite our formula. Same procedure as before, equals. Uh, our revenue is hours times out. So I just take the hours, multiply, and then I go to reference values and you see once I click on the table I get the name of the table here reference values followed by an exclamation mark and now I click on the hourly rate and now that's what what is new for us we have here a cell reference not just with the um, column and row but also with the table name and that is that you get that when you have a formula where the cells come from different tables. So this is our ta original table, the B2, and this one comes from the table reference or worksheet reference values and the cell B1. And don't forget, because that hourly rate is still valid for everybody, I have to F4 it, uh, or uh, more likely press the F4 key on my keyboard to get those dollar signs, because I don't want that to change when auto filling downwards, okay? So the only difference here between this formula and the one I did in the previous video is that this cell is now in a different table called reference values. Okay, and then I press return. And once I press return, I'm back to the original table and here's my formula. And then I just can autofill it downwards. Yeah, I'm gonna repeat that for profits. So with profits, profits are uh, revenue minus uh, costs. So equals revenue minus where are my costs? They're over here and here and those costs are also valid for everybody so i press f4 key and then return and there's my formula and now i just auto fill it down okay so basically we have here the same values as in the previous video but now our table is much cleaner because now we only have the calculations here and all those reference values whatever they are they're residing in a separate table where i can easily update them in two years, if somebody calls me and say, oh, you know what, they changed the hourly rate, okay, no problem. I just go in here and change it. And all calculations, be it in this table or in any other tables that are dependent on this hourly rate, change accordingly. And that is the benefit of placing all your uh, reference values in a, in a, in a separate uh, sheet. And by reference values, I mean those values that are valid either for everybody or let's say for a large group of the of uh, of of of, uh, of records